Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video on the Super Squad channel where today we're here at my made up uh, homestead truck and uh, we have two brand new die casts to review here. We have two Terry Labonte number no. five cars sponsored by Kellogg's and two different Pixar movies. The 164 is of Monsters Inc. and the 124 is of Finding Nemo. Without further ado, I say let's go ahead and start with the 164. Alright, we got it out of the box and already it's uh, pretty cool. It has a little podium that you can sit the car on and you can actually put the uh, little card on it too. There's like a little slot. So that's pretty cool that it comes with the stand. I've never, I don't think I've ever had one that came with the stand like that. So that's actually pretty cool. Um, anyways, the card says Chase the Race, Monsters Inc., Terry Labonte, Racing Champions, Kellogg's, NASCAR. You have Sully right there, 5, Hendrick. What about on the back? Let's see. Chase the Race, 2001, Terry Labonte, Residence, Thompson, Thomasville, not Thompson, uh, North Carolina, born November 16th, 1956, Racing Champions, NASCAR. Alright, so yeah, this is definitely from 2001. I could kind of already tell from the uh, front of the car, from the back, just the decals and all that. Um, let's see. Let's move this, just black there. Racing Champions, Monsters, Inc. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the car now. Um, you have Sully and Mike Wazowski on the front, Monsters, Inc., Kellogg's, Monte Carlo. You got this guy right here. Is on the back too and then Sully's on this side it's a decent paint scheme I mean it matches with the characters I mean maybe if they went with a black base instead of a white base I don't know it looks a little too I don't know it's uh it's not it's too vibrant I don't know like maybe if like the white was black maybe it'd look better I don't know it's tough to say I don't know it's just like a little too sudden like on the top right here maybe like have the five a different color I don't know <laughs> anyways um yeah solid scheme I like it uh this is pretty detailed right here look at the bottom anything here all right so yeah it looks pretty cool I like it um We'll just do one thing really quick to it that you guys already know. All right, there we go. That looks much better. All right, um, let's go ahead and compare it with some other Terry Labonte cars that I have. The classic uh, Kellogg scheme. Let's focus. There we go. And we got uh, the Frost of Flakes scheme and another Kellogg scheme. Take a good look at them. My favorite out of all of them is, mm, I don't know. It's a tough choice between these two. Yeah. But after that, I'd say definitely this one, and then that's probably the least favorite of the 164s of Terry Labonte that I have. And I think that's it for the 164. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this one. Alright, I finally got out of the box. It took me a while. Um, it's one of those boxes where, like, um, I already destroyed everything <laughs> trying to get it out. But it was one of those where, like, the strings were, like, attached to the wheels. And you have to, like, unwind them. And, oh, my gosh, it was so annoying. And it was stuck to, like, the base of the box. Oh, I hate those. They're so annoying. Um, anyways, we finally got it out of the package. And it is looking nice. Oh, what is happening? Okay, I was zooming in so fast, like, at least on my screen, while I'm recording, it, like, started glitching out. Alright, anyways, um, let's go ahead and look at the card that actually comes with first. Um, so, number five, Terry Labonte. Why is this all lowercase and the last name's uppercase? I'm not even gonna ask. Uh, five, Racing Champions, there's a picture of him. Chase the Race, on the back, 2003, so this is from 2003. Terry Labonte, hometown Thomasville, and same thing as the other one. All right, chase the race. Okay. Anyways, uh, let's move on to the actual car while we're all here. And this car looks amazing. 
I really like it. It has the black base like I was talking about with the other one. And the yellow and the blue of the water. It complements it so much. The neon yellow looks so good with this. And then obviously we got Nemo and Dory right here on the front. Is Nemo missing his mouth? It looks like Nemo's missing his mouth. Is he missing his mouth? I can't tell. It, it really does look like he's missing a mouth. Yeah, something went wrong here. And like his fin is supposed to have a black outline. It's a little weird things going on here. That's that's frightening. Oh no. <laughs> uh, got milk. Finding Nemo. Only in theaters. And we got the coral right here. From the car looks cool, especially the Monte Carlo and the neon. Oh, that looks so nice. That's such a nice detail. Oh, you know, they could have made the Chevy logo neon. I think that would have complemented it even better, too. And then this being neon yellow, that's so nice. Okay. Anyways, on the side, we have uh, the Hammerhead Shark right here. That's pretty cool. Got milk, Quaker Steak, G-Mac. That's now Ally. DuPont, or DuPont, the Miracle of Science. I was really expecting um, a character to be here, like maybe Brucey or squirt the turtle or crush the turtle or marlin marlin's not on this car like on the back here too and then we got the other shark on this you know i was expecting some other characters like you know on the back here but oh well it's still pretty cool though i like it this car looks fantastic it actually looks better on camera than it does in real life like the blue is more vibrant um on the camera than it is in person in person, it's probably closer to, like, the color of this right here. Like, the really light one. It's probably closer to that in real life. But on camera, it's so, like, nice and vibrant. Like, I like looking at it on the camera better, honestly. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, really cool-looking diecast, though. I like it. And let's go ahead and compare it with the only other, um, I guess... Um, what's the word? Marine type car that I have. And this is Jimmy Johnson's uh, Lowe's SeaWorld car. They both have sea animals on them, marine life. Uh, they both have neon yellow and blue and black. So neon yellow, light blue, and black always go good together. Every single time. So yeah, you can compare them here because I don't have any Terry Labani uh, 124s to compare. This is my first Terry Labani. Um, and I don't have any Casey Canes or stuff like that. Next, I probably want to get, like, Kyle Busch's, um, Cars, uh, paint scheme from, like, 2006. I probably want to get that one next. If not, then I want to get Kane's, uh, Brickyard 400 win from 2017. Because that was the first NASCAR race I watched. And it'd be kind of nice to get that die cast. But, anyways, uh, we're looking at these two right here. Comparing them. And, yeah. Oh, another thing. Let me set this to the side. That makes this car look good. The Kellogg's, like, the logo, it's it's nice. Like, it matches with the car really good. I like it. Everything about this car, oh, beautiful. Um, the only other thing they could have done to make it better was, like, you know, maybe a few more characters on the back here. But other than that, I'd say it looks really good. And, yeah, that's basically going to be it for this episode. If you guys did enjoy, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you guys on the next one. Take it easy and bye-bye.